Go ahead. Make my day. Greetings. Welcome to This, That, and the Other, where I react to, respond to, comment on, question, or otherwise propound on whatever I find of interest on any given day. Now, today's topic The third and final extended edition scene comparison, highlighting the additions to the Return of the King, or subtractions if you prefer, since actually these scenes were deleted from the original to create the theatrical release. Directors always like longer films, and the studios often have a different point of view. Most of these are quite long far too long to show them on YouTube. I'll need to just provide some brief clips and some verbal descriptions. I assume you've seen the movie and will have a pretty good idea of what's there. There will be occasional references to the episodes where the scene was originally included if you want more information. I feel like I'm back at the... Mary and Pippin finally I'm catching a break, waiting for their friends. Putting my feet up on a settle after a hard day's work. Only, you've never done a hard day's work. <laughs> Actually, as the scions of two of the Shire's wealthiest and most powerful families... Neither one of them has ever done a hard day's work. Shame yourself. Be careful. The entire Saruman in the Tower Saruman sequence was extended edition only. Ironically, after two full movies no. of intruding him into we places did he didn't life. belong, his one real scene was cut from the theatrical release. You have fought many wars and slain many men, Theoden King, and made peace afterwards. Can we not take counsel together as we once did, my old friend? Can we not have peace? When you hang from a gibbet for the sport of your own crows, we shall have peace. So you have come here for information? I have some for you. Fight! <laughs> No pauses, no spirits. And no regurgitation. <laughs> so, it's a drinking. Fun, but uh, totally unnecessary. Unless maybe to show Gimli and Legolas beginning to die. <laughs> okay. I feel something. A slight tingle in my fingers. I think it's affecting me.
Game over. That pilanter is bothering Pippin. Sleeping Beauty, dreaming of Prince Charming. What time is it? Not yet dawn. Or some weird so nightmare. Climbing over green. It was utterly dark in the abyss before. Night changes many thoughts. Sleep here with me. He's always followed me. Everywhere I went, since before we were tweens, I would get him into the worst sort of trouble. Pippin is still in his tweens. He's only 28, eight years younger than Mary. This is my first command to you. How did you escape and my son did not? So mighty a man as he was. The mightiest man may be slain by one arrow. And Boromir was pierced by many. A wise observation, but basically just filler. It's turn to vain ambition. He would even use his grief as a cloak. Gandalf gives Pippin a history lesson. The old wisdom born out of the West was forsaken. Kings made tombs more splendid than the houses of the living. And counted the old... The line of kings failed. The white tree withered. The rule of Gondor was given over to lesser There's no leaving this city. Help must come to us. Must be getting near tea time. At least ways it would be in decent places where there is still tea time. We're not in decent places. <sighs> yes, you will. Of course you will. That's just morbid thinking. We're going there and back again. Just like Mr. Bilbo. Good man, Sam. But we have hours of them just wandering through the woods. Why add more? Well, maybe Fuck. for this. The king has got a crown again. This one is a doozy. Not only is it a deletion or addition, it's a totally alternate take. Watch how much Gandalf smokes and listen to his tone of voice. Ceremonial position. I mean, you don't actually expect me to do any fighting, does he? You 
You're in the service of the steward now. You're going to have to do as you're told. Peregrine Took, guard of the Citadel. Ceremonial position. I mean, they don't actually expect me to do any fighting. Do they? You're in the service of the steward now. You'll have to do as you're told, Peregrine Duke. God of the city. Good and proper. If anything happens to him, you'll have me to answer to. Yeah, you tell him, Sam. What was that about? Nothing. I'm just clearing something up. More wasted time in Asgiliath. Guts to care, Andros. If the orcs attack from the north, we'll have some warning. Still more wasted time in Asgiliath. Excuse me. I have a sword. Please accept it. I offer you my service, Theoden King. And gladly, I accept it. You shall be Mariadoc, Esquire of Rohan. Oh, Mary is so happy about this. Muster a legion of dwarves fully. Come on, giddy up. So it is before the walls of Minas Tirith, the doom of our time will be decided. Yeah, nothing special, really not more than just filler. This is how you would serve your city. You would risk its utter ruin. I did what I judged to be right. I would not use the ring. Not if Minas Tirith were falling in ruin and I alone could save her. Now, that's what Faramir said to Frodo way back after he captured them and before he let them go. Faramir would have remembered his father's need. He would have brought me a kingly gift. Faramir would not have brought the ring. Faramir, even without actual experience with it, 
understands the ring far better than Denethor ever could, because he's not as innately corruptible. He would have stretched out his hand to this thing, and taking it, he would have fallen. You know nothing of this matter! He would have kept it for his own! When he returned, you would not have known your son. My son. It's appropriate that Denethor has a hallucination here, since pretty much this entire scene is a Jackson hallucination. What were you thinking, Peregrine Took? Another scene that weirdly wasn't in the book, but was put in the movie and kept in the extended edition, but was cut for the theatrical release. Which therefore made the theatrical release closer to the actual book. It's confusing. I didn't think they would find any livery that would fit me. Never fitted me either. I think you have strength of a different kind. And one day your father will see it. Who shall call them from the grey twilight? The forgotten people. The heir of him to whom the oath they swore. From the north shall he I'm come. I'm getting dizzy. Need shall Not just him. from the camera work. He shall pass I'm trying the to keep to track of what's dead. in the book and what's in which version of the movie. Because none of it agrees with anything else. getting a little tired of saying this, but again, not in the book, not in the theatrical release, invented solely for the extended edition. You might want to go back to the dead episode are 14 and get the real story. They have been summoned. Admittedly, though, it is well done. The effects are marvelous. But once again, it's 100% Jackson, 0% Tolkien. Personally, You have no idea.
how many times I wanted to do that since I started this project. That was Peter Jackson. This army. Basically, more filler. Great deeds, but this takes the place of a deleted book scene a that actually was more helpful to the plot. And I know I can't. A number of the scenes throughout this portion of the film that are not in the theatrical version are also either not in the book or, or are in the book but in vastly different form, especially the uh, dialogue and the sequencing. Better to die sooner than late. Yeah, Denethor did say something similar to that in both the book and the theatrical version. I need to apologize here. I'm supposed to be comparing the two versions of the movie, but I'm having a devil of a time not comparing them to the book. Now, I've already done half dozen videos comparing this movie to the book, or at least the extended edition of the movie to the book. So I'm going to try even harder to just present the scenes that were in the extended, but not the theatrical, and not comment unless absolutely necessary, okay?
Okay, this does need a comment. The theatrical version shows <laughs> Pippin searching for Mary in the daytime. But I guess Jackson decided that since he added the Houses of Healing sequence, this would have to be pushed back until later in the day. But since it didn't happen at all, it really doesn't matter. Oops, uh, sorry. I wasn't going to refer to the book anymore. It's hard. It's really hard. Mary! Mary! Long have you hunted me. Long have I eluded you. No more. The city has fallen silent. There is no warmth left in the sun. I do not believe this darkness will endure. The two-shot of Frodo and Sam at the beginning of this sequence was in the theatrical version, but just for a second, preceded by a scene that was relocated to later in the sequence. That guy, Got that? Man. Move on! But once the mob of orcs come around the bend, we're in a different movie. Occasionally intercut with Aragorn and the army marching on the Black Gate. Back to the original thread.
There's no point carrying anything we're not sure to need. drops left. My master, Sauron the Great, bids thee welcome. I have a token I was bidden to show thee. That concludes negotiations. I do not believe it. I will not. Smeagol <laughs> promised! Smeagol lied. And from here on, they're the same. Believe it or not, we've come to the end of The Lord of the Rings, the book and two versions of the movie. We've attended Bilbo's 111th birthday party, taken the last ship sailing to the Undying West, and done just about everything else we could do in between. I sincerely thank one and all who have suffered through my rants and digressions over these past weeks and months. I'll be taking a short breather to collect my thoughts and review everything. Then we'll do an epilogue to wrap things up and make sure all the questions that need answering are answered. And maybe one or two specials on certain aspects of the story. Now, the channel is certainly not going away. I'm not sure yet if I'll add more Rings content or concentrate on some other single subject or just randomly ramble through whatever strikes my fancy, like I say in the opening. Any and all existing videos remain. I doubt if anyone besides me has watched them all or all of all of them, so there's still a lot of viewing you can do. I'll be back in a couple of weeks with the epilogue. Uh, until then, uh, click the appropriate buttons and 
Uh, buy me a coffee or two. Take care.